hi everyone and welcome to this session on jmeter beginner tutorial so this is going to be a series on jmeter and we will be going uh, step by step in very basic manner on how to install jmeter and then how to configure it and how to use it for various performance testing needs okay so i'll i'll be showing you uh, this session and this tutorial on jmeter and because jmeter is a java application so it is platform independent you do not have to worry on the uh, platform or the operating system you are using whether you are using a mac or a windows uh, it will not matter because uh, jmeter is a java application so it will run uh, similar on all the operating systems the only difference in uh, windows and mac will be the way we start jmeter and i will show you exactly how do we do that so uh, let us begin and let us see how exactly we install jmeter okay so step one will be you have to check java is installed on your system okay so this is kind of a prerequisite for having a jmeter working on your system so you have to check whether java is already there on your system or not uh, there are uh, most probably chances that you will have java on your system and to check it you just have to go to command prompt and say java space hyphen version so if you are on a windows you can go to your command prompt and say java space hyphen version and click enter it will show you the java version you have right in case you are not getting this java version and the uh, rest of the message that means java either is not installed or you have not set the environment variables and uh, i'll have a separate video to cover that topic but as of now uh, we just have to check whether java is installed or not so here here uh, i can see uh, java a version 8 is already installed so for jmeter latest version you need java 7 or higher so in my windows i am good let me see on my mac again i go to my terminal here and here again i say java space hyphen version and here again i am saying java version 7 is already installed so i am good on my mac as well okay so in case you do not get this message then do not worry i'll have a separate video for a uh, step by step installing java on your system whether it's a mac or windows and i will provide a link as well in description for now let's suppose uh, you have java installed on a system so we move to step number two which is download jmeter from the internet so go to your browser and go to google and say download jmeter the very first option that we have is apache jmeter download apache jmeter i'm just clicking here and i am navigated to this jmeter page where you have these binaries and you can take this zip file and it will get uh, downloaded to your system as of now i am cancelling this because i already have this so this will be a zip file and you have to unzip this so step number three is unzip and keep jmeter folder at any location on your system okay so you can keep it at any location uh, on my windows i have kept it at this in this folder in this location and on my mac i have kept uh, on into my tools folder here okay so i have i have unzipped it and kept it uh, into this location so now you have done you have unzipped and you have kept the jmeter folder at any location on your system then step number four will be start jmeter okay now here is a little difference in uh, windows and mac if you are on windows okay so for windows you have to go to uh, your jmeter folder and inside that there will be a bin folder and inside the bin folder there will be a file called as jmeter uh, dot bat and you just have to click that bat file and jmeter will start so if i go to my windows this is my jmeter folder and inside this we have a bin folder 
and here I'll have a file called jmeter.bat you can see it this is here right so I'm just uh, I'll double click this bat file and it might ask you some uh, dialog box you can run this and you can see this is actually starting jmeter and soon you will see the jmeter window coming up and this is our jmeter so you you see the home window of jmeter where we can start creating our test plans okay now if you are on a mac then the only difference is for mac is again you have to uh, you have to go to terminal in this case you can open your terminal window and then go to jmeter and again the bin folder wherever it is and then you have to say sh jmeter.sh so here uh, instead of bat file you will have an sh file so if I go to my jmeter folder and I go to bin folder you can see jmeter.sh is here right so instead of double clicking here I'll go to my terminal I'm starting my terminal at the same location where this bin folder is and I'm saying sh jmeter.sh and again it will do the same thing it will start the jmeter window and I can see this is the same window okay so this was the only difference in starting jmeter between windows and mac the rest of the things will exactly be the same because now we have the same jmeter running uh, on both the operating systems and because it's a java application so it is platform independent so in the coming series uh, we are going to look at how exactly we will use jmeter configure jmeter for various kinds of performance testing hope you liked it thank you